Hello, I'm Paul from WeAreChangeVictoria.org and Freedom Free For All TV. Today we've got David Kevin Lindsay from CLEAR, Common Law Education and Rights Initiative with us on Skype. Hey David, how you doing? Great, how you doing? Good, it's good to have you here. Um, We're having you come to Victoria on May 31st to give a seminar at Camosun College Interurban Campus. You came to Victoria a while back and you gave a, a presentation to a packed house uh, at the Camosun College, and it was to do with the hierarchy of law. And it was very important because a lot of us have never heard this before in our history. So before we get started off to talk a little bit about your upcoming presentation on pressing criminal charges, I just want to get uh, a little bit from you about what your organization is CLEAR, uh, Common Law Education and Rights Initiative. Who are you and what do you stand for? Our group is the Common Law Education and Rights Initiative. And we were formed in British Columbia in the Okanagan about 10 years ago through a large number of people who were extremely concerned about the way the government has taken away our common law rights and liberties throughout the last uh, few decades, and and it's getting worse, of course. And our primary objective was a realization that virtually all our problems in society and all our rights and liberties deprivations can be traced directly back to the uh, to the money system we have in Canada and specifically the imposition of usury at source when the money is created. And we believe that the government of Canada is required to create that money interest free and then all the other problems would pretty much go away. Uh, under that type of situation, for example, you really wouldn't need any income tax and then people could keep the fruits of their labor and there'd be a lot more happiness and less crime and so on. And We got involved in that aspect and branched out into educating Canadians and and a whole bunch of people about our common law rights and freedoms that exist and uh, one of the ones we really focused on was the right to the free use of the public highways. Uh, Free travel is again one of the most critical rights we have in Canada or supposed to have and and they're they're just simply not recognizing it but we've uh, basically been teaching Canadians how the highways should work while you can protect free travel at the same time because a lot of people really have a hard time understanding the concept of being able to travel without a driver's license, registration and insurance. And we've developed a system that shows how that can be done and still protect your right of free travel. And we've been uh, actively promoting that throughout Canada as well and trying to get uh, our governments to recognize a right of free travel. And we've been involved actively just basically promoting common law rights and liberties throughout the last 10 years. So it sounds like you've been really quite busy. Uh, it sounds like you've got a lot of experience. I know when you came to Victoria to give the seminar a few months ago on the hierarchy of law, you spoke a lot about this. You spoke a little bit about pressing charges. I was flabbergasted that uh, an average person, an av- average individual could actually press charges. I thought that was something that the Crown had to do. Um, so when you had when you came to Victoria, you really enlightened quite a few people on um, all the information that you've you've found over the years and the research you've uncovered. And this book here, um, Rights Denied, I bought this book off you, which talks about what you just said about the free use of the highways. And uh, unbelievable book, one of the best books I've ever read when it came to our rights, and uh, has a lot of case law too, which supports your thesis. So, how did you originally discover that uh, people could lay their own criminal charges? Well. Um I have to admit it was a surprise for me too because originally I anticipated that the only people that could lay criminal charges in Canada were the government, police officers, and and that was about it. And when I first became involved in freedom issues about 23, 24 years ago in Winnipeg and uh, I first learned about how income tax was unlawful, um, I was really fortunate to meet a number of people in Winnipeg who shared the same belief and two of those people, ironically, at that time worked for Revenue Canada or the Canada Revenue Agency today. One of them was an auditor and the other was a senior official in tax interpretations. So obviously he knew what he was talking about. And I met these people and they became good friends after a while. And they were telling me on how they attempted to lay criminal charges against government officials as a result of a billion dollar fraud that had taken place with Revenue Canada at that time that went directly into the minister's office. And it was throughout Canada. It would take too long to get into the details here right now, but it was a massive fraud and they attempted to lay criminal charges uh, doing that. And I I was just flabbergasted as well and couldn't believe that they could go and lay charges against the the government, especially when they were government officials. But they told me, um, explain how they did it 
and um, they went and unfortunately were fired from Revenue Canada for exposing this fraud and complained and then they were rehired and then fired again when they insisted that these people be held criminally liable and then they just decided that Revenue Canada was so corrupt they didn't even want to be a part of it anymore. And we discovered through um, working with them and some of my own research, it took about a year of really pressing the staff at the Winnipeg Courthouse to find out that the chief judge had issued a secret directive that magistrates were using at the Winnipeg Courthouse and throughout the province to refuse to take criminal charges against government officials. And th this is completely an obstruction of justice. It's completely prohibited in law. And they were relying upon it to refuse to accept these, these CRA officials, Revenue Canada at that time, their criminal charges. And they didn't know how to get around it. So I got this directive and fortunately since then the courthouse in, in through Manitoba have now been taking all criminal charges. But I have to say it was a, um, a, a massive, massive fraud going on, not only at CRA Revenue Canada, but in the courthouse itself by justice official, officials who were working cooperatively to deny people their fundamental and constitutional right and duty to lay criminal charges when they know that people have broken the law. And these were court officials that were involved in it. And it just absolutely floored me that, that, that they could be so corrupt. And uh, I have to admit, after 23 years later, I've seen a lot more than that. So your experience has really helped you guide you along this path to the point now where you can actually educate others on how they can exercise their rights and become, restore some kind of balance to the system. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm probably, outside the legal community, probably the most knowledgeable man in Canada on how to lay criminal charges and the procedures in doing so. Um, I've been studying it and, um, and working with others to, to get them to lay criminal charges as well. And we really want to educate more and more people. And um, as the more people that can do it, the more exciting and, and beneficial it's going to be for everybody when we take responsibility for our own safety and for laying our own criminal charges to bring offenders to justice instead of depending on the police all the time, for example. As a, as a friend of mine said years ago, if you want the government to completely look after you and protect you, then you're going to have to give up all your rights and freedoms to allow them to do that. And we don't believe in that theory at all. And uh, our goal is to educate people on how they can take responsibility and get away from their, their system because the police for the most part it's getting worse and worse they won't even lay charges hardly anymore if you got to break and enter for example in your home a lot of times unless there's bodily injuries the police will just tell you to get an insurance number or give you a police report number and give it to the insurance company and they don't even send anybody out to investigate anymore in effect the police today are nothing more than glorified tax collectors with a gun their primary concern is revenue generation through tickets and, and assorted means like that and actual keeping the peace and bringing criminals to justice is more and more becoming a um, just a side issue. Uh, I think you're not the only one that feels this need to become more responsible for our rights and take things back into our own hands. So this this uh, seminar, that's webinar that's coming up, it's going to be a webinar as well. So the the actual location is here in Victoria, May 31st. We're giving the seminar. It's from 10 in the morning till about 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. It's also going to be a webinar. So it's going to be live streaming across Canada, across the United States, and across the world. So anybody that wants to learn a little bit more and educate themselves, this would be a great opportunity. So what are the objectives for this um, for this webinar f in, in relation to CLEAR, Common Law Education and Rights Initiative? Um, our objectives basically are to educate people a, to the knowledge that they can lay the criminal charges. I mean, it's, it's it, to my surprise today even, the majority of Canadians do not know that they can lay their own criminal charges. So our goal is to educate people that A, they can lay their own criminal charges, B, how the process works, and C, what to watch out for. What tricks you can watch out for from governments and that, who they, they try to cover it up. Because if you're charging government officials, uh, excuse me, let's face it, the government is not your friend. They're your enemy. So we want to educate people and inspire them and empower them that they can go and lay their own criminal charges, especially where the police refuse to act or, or anybody in the government refuses to act. We want to take any feeling of hopelessness that people have when they are the victim of a crime and nobody will do anything about it. 
and we want to instill in them, inspire them to say, hey, you can go and lay criminal charges, we will support you, and here's how it's done. It really is a simple procedure, but uh, there's a lot of information people need to know to make it effective and for it to work. Well, that's excellent, David. So I guess uh, the last question I have for today is, how do people sign up for this awesome event, this uh, great piece of little knowledge? I know it's $75. Maybe you could uh, elaborate a little bit about how people can sign up for it and the, the pricing structure behind it. Sure. Our... Um we are Change Victoria. We'll have it on their website, and um, there's going to be a link there that people can go to to register for the webinar. It's going to be live in Victoria as well, and people in the Victoria area can um, email us at clear at clearfreedom.org if they want to simply register. Then let us know they're going to come down there. And seating is limited, so uh, we would appreciate it if you got back to us early so we can uh, we can register you in to, to come down. And anybody else throughout Canada or the world can um, can go to your website and they can register that, that way through the website. The cost of the event is going to be $75. And um, considering the price that a lawyer charges, which is usually $1,000 minimum for a day in court or about $300 an hour just to talk to them, we, we've made this as extremely affordable as possible for everybody in Canada to learn the procedures on laying criminal charges because um, the cost of doing so is free when you go to lay your charge and they need to know that they can do it without having to spend thousands of dollars in, in lawyers fees and the other um, the other option or the other issue we wanted to, to bring to people's attention is that we have the only annotated book in Canada on the procedures on how to lay criminal charges there have been a couple articles written over the years about it, but nothing to the extent that, that we have done to put it all together into one package. And our package includes the forms you need from every province and territory in Canada as well, and the entire story on how you, you need to lay criminal charges. And here's our book, if you can, you can see that. And our book here is extremely, uh, extremely professionally done. As I said, I've got 20 years experience doing this, and it's $75 as well. And for those who are going to attend the webinar, they can get the book for $50. So those are going to be made available, and fortunately, with, um, with the assistance of your group, we'll be doing a DVD as well. And all three, which normally would run $225, all three will be available for $150. People can get the video, they can watch the webinar, and they can also get the book with all the forms and the information they need, and the instructions on how to deal with any problems that develop, what to do if, uh, if, if you get to court and the judge doesn't want to issue a summons against the accused, how you deal with that. All of these questions and answers will be dealt with in our materials. Wow, that's a that's in my opinion that's a smoking deal, because uh, you're right. It is very expensive to have a lawyer for even one hour just to listen to you. You're you're spending up to close to five hundred dollars. So seventy five dollars, in my opinion, is anybody that's interested in changing uh, the system, anybody that's interested in changing themselves, learning personal development, anybody that's into that kind of work. Uh, I think this would be pivotal for them to to sign up and, and learn a little bit about this. So again, if you go to wearechangevictoria.org, we'll have a landing page, which will direct you to the neurs.com. It's N-E-U-R-S dot com. Uh, and that's the platform in which we're going to be hosting this uh, live stream. And again, it's worldwide, so anybody can uh, see it. And with the pricing package that David talked about, uh, it's a steal of a deal. It's something that you want to do. And if you're not educating yourself, then you're never going to be uh, getting to the point where you're going to be ready. As David has clearly shown, uh, it's the years of experience that matter. So I, I, I look forward to having you here, David, come into Victoria on May 31st. If you're interested in this, uh, you can Google wearechangevictoria.org. I'm Paul from Freedom Free For All TV. Thank you so much, David, for being on the show. And I will be seeing you soon. We'll, uh, we'll come around with a part two for this very quickly.